going on people so welcome to my first fan mail unboxing this isn't this isn't the first time I've gotten things from my PO box I've gotten a couple things a couple letters and uh, some small things from fans that are very cool but um, for whatever reason I just I was always so excited when I got stuff out of the PO box I just open it up and look at it there but uh, these two packages I was actually warned about ahead of time so I saved one of them for probably about three weeks now until the second one came and I figured there was enough now to actually do a fan mail unboxing. If you guys ever want to send me anything, letters or, you know, whatever you want to send me, because I used to have a lot of requests for my home address and everything like that. Understandably, that's a little bit risky to give out my home address to people I don't know. So I actually opened up a P.O. box about maybe six months ago. If you look down in the video description, I might even put a little, you know, wordage right here but down in the video description is the p.o box address if you guys want to send me anything whatsoever send it down there and if you have me on social media definitely send me a message or a comment or something let me know to look out for something because i don't check it very often so i'd hate for something to be there for weeks and weeks and weeks and you get impatient that i haven't even addressed it yet but anyway i have two packages this one is from john kyle stanton a uh, very dedicated viewer of mine as well as some of my friends. I see him on almost every single live stream that I do on my channel. I see him on pretty much every single scream stream. I think every single live stream that we do, regardless if it's my channel, CP's channel, the scream stream, he always manages to put one or two super chats in there. So he's a very good guy and a very big supporter of what I do and what my friends do. So thank you for that before I even open this, John. But uh, he sent me a package, it looks like a letter in a movie, so let me put the movie out first. And it is Magic, I've never heard of this one. Magic with Anthony Hopkins, looks like there's some kind of a doll or a mannequin, so I think he's tapping into my Chucky fandom there. I've never heard of this, but you know what, Anthony Hopkins is enough for uh, the admission to get me to watch it, so very cool. And I love getting these older movies that I've never seen before, oh there's something in here. Alright, let's look at this, uh, this letter. Cody, I know you are a busy man, but when you get a chance, can you please review this underappreciated classic starring a young Anthony Hopkins, respectfully, John Kyle Stanton. P.S. While you watch the movie, the pizza is on me. Dude, you are awesome, John. Uh, and yes, whenever I get a chance to watch it, I will do a review for you. So I appreciate it very much. That's a very cool $20 gift card to Domino's. My kids especially will love that. Pizza night is always a good night in this household. So that is awesome. So magic. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, if you've seen this movie. Is it an underappreciated classic? Is it something that more people should have talked about? Is this the first time you're seeing it? I've never even heard of it before, so that's very cool. Thank you so much, John. And this last package, which I tore the corner just because these packages are always so frustrating. I don't want to sit here for five minutes while I'm on video, but uh, this is from my good buddy CP. So, uh... Doesn't smell like dog shit, but uh, <laughs> supposed to be something pretty cool. So let me go ahead and finish tearing that corner off now. And I mean, I could, I could tell it's a movie. So we got, uh, what the hell is it? Ah, brain scan. We were doing a stream, I believe it was when we were talking about Ghostbusters. Um, it was either Ghostbusters or Happy Death AD. We were doing a stream on my channel a couple of weeks ago. And we got on the subject of Edward uh, Furlong, and I let it slip that I've never even seen Brain Scan before. So it looks like CP wanted to write that wrong. Um, I've seen this movie a lot on Amazon. I remember passing this cover many times, but I've never heard of the movie as far as like the plot synopsis or anything. I didn't realize that Edward Furlong is in it, but if CP's got a high recommendation for it, I'm sure it's going to be wild if nothing else. So thank you very much, my friend. Uh, and again, just like uh, with Magic, if you guys are fans of Brain Scan, let me know down in the comment section below. Am I in for a treat? And should I do a review for Brain Scan in CP's honor? Who would like that? But that's it, guys. So, just a short little fan mail unboxing. Like I said, if there's any of you that have been wanting to send me anything, but maybe was a little bit nervous to ask for my home address, I went ahead, took the nervousness out of it, and started a P.O. box. So check the video description down below. Anything you send will go to this box and just give me some kind of a message. I check it probably once a month, but if you give me a message and let me know that something's on the way, I'll be sure to check it a couple of days after your message and I will get to it much sooner. And I will start doing more of these fan unboxings the more that stuff starts to trickle in. So please check that out down below. As always, guys, please like and share this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. If you want to check out some social media links, you can also check the video description below for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Spreadshirt for Cody Leach t-shirts and other merchandise, and my Patreon page, which is a great way to give back to this channel, 
help this channel grow and get cool exclusive content for your eyes only if you decide to become a patron. So check all that stuff out guys and if you want to check out some more of my videos you can check out a few more by clicking right over here.